Hello my friends, a uh, little short video from me, Steve England. Uh, I'm on holiday here at Tenby and uh, just spending a week here with Harry. And I did say, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, is to film a little video on foreshore foraging, which is what I'm going to do now. I'll just turn the camera around and let you have a look at some of the perspective of where I am. Here you go guys, I'm in Tenby Harbour and as you can see the tide has gone out. That's Tenby uh, Station for the lifeboat there. There you go guys, I'll pan it round. You see the tide's gone out. The tide has dropped down probably three meters from yesterday. And one of the things about foreshore foraging that I love, just because the tide is out, it doesn't mean to say that it's just a barren landscape. And I'll show you exactly what I mean, guys. I'm gonna walk along this low tide mark. Can you see these, what look like stones? Look at these guys. Look at that. Muscle. Let's go in my basket. Look. Brought up on the tide. You see there's some mussels. Look at them everywhere. There's a mussel. Mussels. Look at them. There you go, guys. Once the barnacles are cleaned off of them, they are going to be great. Look, there's loads of them here. You see? You see them all washed up on the beach, guys, on low tide. You see there's some there. Look at them there. Look. That'll do. Look at that. So they've obviously been anchored off of their rocks, taken off of their rocks. There's some more there. There you go, guys, look. Look at this. You see, it's a low tide mark, guys. Look at that. Not bad at all, huh? Just for low tide. And I've managed to find some rock samphire, and that goes well with fish, but to be honest with you, rock samphire tastes like diesel. But for some reason, it seems to work with fish. Now I'm just walking up to these pillars here and you see guys, you see the pillars from the one of the piers or whatever. But if you look inside, can you see all these things here guys? You see these? These are dog whelks and they are edible and they are good. So I'm going to grab some of these guys, but look at them. So these are dog whelks, absolutely really nice. And I would cook these, I would boil them for a couple of minutes and then take them out of their shells with a pin. You know, like what we used to do when we were kids with the winkles on the beach. And then fry them in garlic butter. Look at that. So they're going in my basket, guys. Now, I've just noticed, actually, on top of this pillar here, can you see all these things here? Look, guys, we've got a mussel bed here. Can you see them? Can you see all the mussels here, look? You see? Obviously, one thing you've got to be very mindful of is pollution, but well, I mean, we're in the open ocean here, so I'd be more. Once these are cleaned off, guys, look. Look at the size of them, look. Look at this, look. There you go. Don't look much, but when they're, I say when they're cleaned, they'll be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. What's that? Less than 10 minutes foraging, guys, and I've got a, a load of. Mussels, I've got some dog whelks, which I'm going to get some more in a minute, and I've got some nice rock samphire. So, when you're looking at a place like this, guys, Tenby Harbour, what a wonderful place to visit! Look at it. So, even though you know the tide's out, what a great place to come, especially when you come here with your kids and you've got you know you want something to do with your kids and the tide's out. Go and have a look for food. There's loads of food here. And uh, I'm on a mission now. My next mission is razor clams. So I'm gonna go searching all the way along the tide. The tide's not out yet for about another hour. So, but the more the water withdraws, the more food it exposes. And that's what really excites me as a forager. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna go and uh, hopefully find some razor clams and I'll film that one. Until then, happy foraging.